All right, so we're setting up and solving differential equations. This is part two. In part one, all you needed to remember is that if y is proportional to, then y equals kx, and if y varies inversely, then y equals k on dx. So here, here are our questions. Set up differential equations for the following situations. The volume of water in a tank is decreasing at a rate which is proportional to its current volume. Okay, so a couple of bits here. The volume of water in a tank is decreasing at a rate. The volume of water in a tank is decreasing at a rate which is, is proportional to its current volume. Okay, so if there's a lot of water, it's going to be decreasing. It, it's good, like, th this makes sense. If there's a lot of water in a tank, uh, there's a lot of pressure there and the water's coming out really, really quickly. Uh, if there's not much water, there's not as much pressure and the water's coming out more slowly. So, what we can say is that the change, uh, the change in volume with respect to time is proportional to uh, the current volume. And then finally, we can just finish that off by saying that, uh, I'll, I should be doing that underneath there, but I'll just do it over here. Uh, the change in volume uh, with respect to time is equal to kv, where k is some constant. That's really all this question is asking us to do. Uh, and then the second question, the gradient of a curve varies inversely with the square of its x-coordinate. Varies inverse, so there's, there's a lot here. The gradient of a curve varies inversely with the square of its x-coordinate. Okay, so let's go through this step by step. The gradient of a curve isn't going to be like dv dt now. It's not even going to be t, um, which is sort of what it says here. Rates are with respect to time unless otherwise stated. This is one of those otherwise stated. The gradient of a curve is going to be simply um, dy dx. And then it says varies inversely. So that's going to be the, uh, proportional. 1 over x, or 1 over something, I need to finish that, varies inversely with the square of its x-coordinate. Not just the x-coordinate, but varies inversely with the square of its x-coordinate. So the square of its x-coordinate is x. So the, the gradient of a curve, which is dy dx, inversely proportional to x squared. Then finally, uh, dy dx equals k on x squared. All right, obviously it's going to get more difficult than this.